people say, you know, name a card. There's certain cards that are more obvious than others. The most obvious card to name is the is Queen of Hearts. Yep. And the second most obvious is the Ace of Spades. But no one ever thinks about what the third or the fourth or the 27th most obvious card might be. So, uh, your name is? Rebecca. Rebecca. That's Rebecca, that's if I was to ask you to name any card, what card would you name? Nine of Spades. The Nine of Spades. This is my office. The Nine of Spades. Any particular reason why you named the Nine of Spades? No. Just off the top of... Just <laughs> it off the top. just the first thing that came up. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> now, I made a prediction about what cards you might actually choose. The prediction is on the other uh, card box. You can uh, take a look. What does it say? You will name card three. You'll name card number three. Number three. Exactly. That's the third most popular card. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, I shall prove it because on the back of all these cards, there's a number. This is a zero. Nobody ever names this card. This is the 35, the 35th most popular card. 11, 6. You see, every card has a number depending on how popular it is when I ask you to name a card. Queen of Hearts is the most popular card. That's why it has the number one written on it. Ace of Spades is the second most popular card. That's why it has the number. I think you can see where this is going now. <laughs> a totally free choice. Third most popular card. It has the number three. <laughs> but do you know how confident I was that you would name the Nine of Spades? They're all Nine of Spades. <laughs> that would be good. That would be I was good. so confident I didn't bother with any of them. Ah. Ah. Thank you very much.